know what I'm saying? Like, how 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 do they? How do anyone like provide like like something that's holy to a slave movement? How do someone provide? Well, let me let, let's let's first let's start with this. Give me a Joshua one and eight. Give me Joshua one and eight, right? And the brother was going, the officer was going over the Sabbath, right? But to understand that because a lot of the things and a lot of the ways we've been taught is this, this has no use to us, right? So we, we know we're supposed to do it, but we just don't know what use or how practical it is on our day to day, right? The Bible don't know what I suffer through, what I go through, what I, right? So what we got to do is we got to correlate and connect the practicality and the practical use of the laws of God, which are for our good. They're for our good, to our lives, right? To our, yeah, yeah, come here, come close, I can't hear you. The main issue with the Bible and our people is right. like we are in disbelief for Christianity right now. Right. We're in disbelief for the Bible. Right, now, right. We correlate the Bible with Christianity. You see that? And, it, and, 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 and that gives us no solutions to what our, what's plaguing us, what the problems that we go through in our day to day, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the laws of God. Say, we're going to start with, with uh, also Mike just brought out, we're going to start with the practical or practicality use of the commandment of the Sabbath, right? So it says, six days shall you labor and do all your work, but the seventh, the seventh, which is the Sabbath, is the day of the Lord's rest, right? So watch this, Joshua chapter one, verse eight. We're gonna start with this, and I want y'all to think, put this in your mind, right? Watch this, the book of Joshua chapter one, verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, huh? that, that thou mayest observe. Oh, yes, sir. Joshua chapter one, verse eight. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Right. So this book of the law, meaning the Bible, the oracles of God, right, shall not depart out of our mouth. So the things that we say, what you say came from where? Like in your mind. There you go. Now you y'all thinking. So what you gonna say out your mouth? It started here, right? So this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. That means that you're meditating on it also. That means that you're thinking on it also. And as a man thinketh, so is he. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Meaning, what you think and what you meditate on is which, how you're going to move, how you're going to walk, how you're going to behave, how you're going to carry yourself. Right? Watch this. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. So once we get this in our minds, right? Like as the brother just said, what's your name? My name is Kevin. Huh? Kevin. Kevin, as Kevin just said, we disassociate ourselves from the Bible because we don't we don't really we, we disbelieve, we, we reject it, right? So it's not in our mind. It's not in our mind because yes, we were taught lies out of the Bible. We were taught lies out of the Bible. So we know we, we grow up when we kids, we kind of buy it, we kind of go for it. But as we grow up, we like, yo, what they say I call cat. That's that's all cat right there. That ain't that don't sound right. That don't make sense to me, right? right? And we have no use, and we reject it. Right. We reject because it don't make sense. Right. But that's what coming back and being taught correctly, we want to understand how much sense this makes for the good use of our lives. That's right? Correct. Watch this. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. It says, so once we meditate day and night, once we speak in the words of God, once we think in the words of God, to do, to observe, and to do, that means to keep and to actually fulfill carry out right so our walk is the word of god our talk is the word of god our right. thought is the word of god right. then read it again for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous the word prosperous means successful it means lucrative now we have some value of the laws of god right. some practical use of the laws of god right now let's get let's go back to the Sabbath where um, Officer Mike was. I think he was in Exodus. Just go back to Exodus uh, uh, twenty and eight. Yes, right? Watch this. The book. So, so we read about that prosperity. The things that plague our what, what's some of the crimes that plague our community, bro? Drugs, killing, theft, right? Robbery, all that plagues our communities, right? Plagues our community. The police is standing right behind us right now. Why? 
Yeah, something, go, something might go down. There's a lot of black folks gathered together over there, on, right? And it's, they not wrong. Typically, that's what happened because we don't have the laws of God in our mind that govern us from saying, no, 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 you ain't gonna kill your brother. No, 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 you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, which is not only putting a gun or putting a knife or, or taking his life, but it's also selling drugs to your brother. That is murder. Right. That is killing your people. Right. right. That's murder. Matter of fact, watch this. I'm gonna I'm take it a little bit deeper than that. Give me Matthew's chapter 12, verse 22, 38. Matthew's 22, 38. Watch, I'm gonna show you something, bro. I'm going to show you something about that. And this law, the laws of God, is love. That's the love. A lot of people think that love is talking about hugging and kissing all the time. No, love is keeping the commandments of God. That's right. Watch this. Matthew That's chapter, yes sir, yeah. Matthew chapter 22, verse 38. Yeah. This is the first the great commandment. This is Christ speaking. A young man, start at verse 36, yes sir. Verse 36. Watch this. Master. Which is the great commandment in the law. So a young man said, okay, of all the commandments, what's the greatest one? What's the great commandment, right? Watch this, because it's a lot of them, right? you like, dang, okay. It's, it's daunting, maybe. When you think of all the 600-something laws, it's daunting to you, right? So he like, master, which one is the greatest one? Which one is like the, the top one, right? Watch this. Jesus said unto him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God. So one, love the Lord your God. With all thy heart, all your heart. Come on. And with all thy soul. And with all your soul. Watch this. And with all thy mind. And with all thy what? And with all thy mind. Remember what we just read in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. We shall meditate on day and night. Day and night. Non stop. That means you walk into the store. You walk into the family dollar right there. A brother brother, your brother might be mad. His, you know, He just broke up with his girl or something. He, he bump you. Now you like, yo, oh, that's my brother, that's my brother. And you keep it moving. And then he himself, if he's meditating on the law, he's like, you know what? Hey, my bad, man. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, something happened just now. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I ain't mean it. I, you know, my bad. That's how we'll carry ourselves, right? And it's, it's, it's much more that goes with that. I'm just giving you some simple examples, right? But read that part again. And with all thy mind. This is, remember, this is talking about loving the Lord. With all thy mind, how do you do that? We just read it in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. Meditating on the laws of God day and night. That's loving the Lord with all your mind. Come on. This is the first and great commandment. That's the greatest commandment. Now, what most don't know, especially how we're taught today in various religions, is that that's talking about keeping the commandments of God. That's not taught. How you going to hug God if that's what love is talking about? How you going to love the Lord if that's what it's talking about? That's not what it's talking about. You go, go hug him. Go hug God. Go give him a smooch. Make it plain. Go give him a smooch. You can't. So, huh? I said that's impossible. It's impossible, right? So how do we love him? By obeying him. By being obedient to him. Watch this. Verse 39. Come on. And the second is like unto it. So the second, the second great commandment, though we know it's, let's say, if, if you don't know it's 613, right? Let's say you just know that it's 10. Because that's what we're taught commonly of the ten, of the ten commandments of God, right? So notice Christ say first and second. Watch what he say to say. Because the first is love the Lord, have no other God before the Lord thy God, right? Second commandment of the ten, right, that Moses received on the tablets was uh, uh, have no idols, right? Don't make an idol and bow down to it, right? Watch what Christ say as the as the second great commandment. And the second is like going to it. So the second great commandment is like the first. Love the Lord thy God with all thy mind. Come on. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. Thou shalt love who? Thou shalt love thy neighbor huh. as thyself. Wow. So that's not the Ten Commandments that he just said. Now that second one ain't in not, not one of the Ten Commandments. But look what Christ said. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your mind. And then love your brother with all your heart and all your mind. He say they just alike. First John chapter six. Second John verse six. First, second John verse six. I'm gonna show you what that means. The Bible's gonna show you what that means. Watch this. The book of second John verse six. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. That's love. That's love. We're not taught that though. We taught that love is sex. We taught that love is hugging somebody. We taught that love, and those are 
parts of that's that's a type of love but when you read love in the bible that's not what it's talking about that's not what god is talking about you can't do none of that with the lord so how you gonna love him we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain iuic has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.